What's up, guys? <laughs> hey, everyone. Victor Atlasman here, Director and Lean Engineer of Charging Ecosystems and Energy Storage Solutions, and I'm here to demonstrate to you 150 kilowatt charging with this vehicle right here. All right, so let's go plug the car in right now. You can open up the port, and everything's set up right now for plug and charge. It's the future of charging right there. So let's take it. We're going to plug it in. And it takes about 10 to 12 seconds, and I'm going to start counting. One, two, nine, 10, 11, 12, and it should be green. There it is. All right. Right on time. Future of charging. Say, I feel like I say that too much, but it is, it really is. The car is currently charging at 151.2 kilowatts. And the reason why it's charging it at that rate is because that's the fastest that this car can take. You've seen over there, we got the Mach-E. The Mach-E itself limits itself a little bit above 100 kilowatts. Very few cars exist that can charge beyond 150 kilowatts. And we're gonna demonstrate that in a future video of us going beyond, but we're gonna start building test pictures to prove that out. And so we started this charge a couple of minutes ago and in less than 10 minutes, it went from 20 up to 70%. We got another 18 minutes left to go to get to 100%. This charger is not giving up. It's giving all the power it's got uh, that this car is willing to take. So I wanna talk about why it's really important for us to design a charger that's capable of megawatt plus charging. And it's really important because as you can see, the future is megawatt charging, but there's a lot that's not available yet in terms of infrastructure, vehicles and whatnot. So it takes a whole ecosystem in order for it to work. It's very important that organizations such as Atlas is part of the uh, consortiums and other organizations that help push megawatt standard forward. So Atlas is part of uh, the Charn organization, uh, SCE J3271, J uh, and a lot of other works in development that's uh, helping progress towards megawatt charging. And what's really important is we want to be universally compatible, meaning that when vehicles on the market are available that is capable of charging megawatt, that we're going to be in the forefront to allow that to happen.